So the last week of July in 2015, we saw two smartphones come out and the term flagship killer was running around through the internet and everyone was claiming, yes, again, here's a flagship killer. So we saw the OnePlus 2 with its new specs and also pricing, and we saw the Moto X style with its new specs and pricing, as well as MotoMaker. So now, in this video, I'm gonna just kinda of compare both of them and see what really is the flagship killer, or does that really exist, or are flagships just getting better, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's jump in and find out. So let's start off with the flagship killer from last year, the OnePlus line. Now, the new device is called the OnePlus 2, which you're seeing right here. It's got newer back covers. It's also got some metallic accents around, but the design language is still very similar to what you expect. That is a 13 megapixel camera in the rear with laser focus. Yes, laser focus, you remember from LG, dual LED flash that records at 4K a resolution. Now, it's it has a 3300 milliamp non-removable battery on underneath that, of course, uh, sandstone uh, exterior at the back. Uh, which should give you some nice uh, battery uh, usage out of it. You've also got uh, an alert slider here on the on the left hand side of the device. Now, uh, a couple of things with the OnePlus 2 that I think a lot of people uh, will note and see is that first off is you have a new um, option in there with a fingerprint sensor. So that's something I actually new on this device. Uh, it's similar sensor to what you find in uh, S6 as well as your uh, um, iPhone 6. Also, it's, it's a 5.5 inch in-cell display. It's a 1080p display, guys, not 2K. So that's kind of a bummer in my mind. Five, in, uh, five megapixel front facing camera. And the cool thing, it actually has USB uh, type C for its uh, data charging and as well as uh, data transfer and charging port. But there is no uh, uh, fast charging and there is no wireless charging device. Also, no NFC, which is kind of a bummer there. So there is no NFC. Now the camera again also has um, OIS. So that's, that's a nice plus to that camera itself, which is, you know, which is very good and it's pretty solid that it actually has all those features. It uh, comes, uh, like I said, that's the alert slider. It's also a dual SIM device, uh, LTE band, Qualcomm chip A10 V2. Comes in actually uh, two variants, 16, 16 gigabytes and 64. Prices are 329 and 389 respectively. $400 uh, basically for the devices, uh, under $400. And also the, the 16 comes at 3 gigs of RAM and the 64 is 4 gigs of RAM. That is the OnePlus 2. No 2K display, no NFC, fingerprint sensor, updated camera, running Android 5.1 Oxygen OS. Now, how about the Moto X style, Motorola's new flagship phone, which is coming out in about a month or so. And this thing comes unlocked in the US, available on every carrier. You can use it on Verizon, T-Mobile, doesn't matter what network you have. LT and all bands. Now, in terms of styling, you know Motorola very well. They have the Moto Maker, which means you can have your device in any different color, any different accent, wood, leather, um, you know, plastic, color variations that only make it your own device. So that's one of the key things, of course, you get with it. You can see the camera sensor on the back has changed. It's now a, a 21 megapixel camera there with a dual LED flash. And uh, they've also changed a bunch of things there. 3000 milliamp battery internally. This is powered by Snapdragon uh, 808 processor with three gigs of RAM. Now you can see the display is a 5.7 inch display. It's a QHD display. So it's a 2K display, a five megapixel front facing camera with flash in the front, and it is running close to stock Android. Yes, it's a stock, um, it's called a, it's called the pure edition for a reason because it's running close to stock Android experience there. There's some little um, camera accents or, or software additions into the camera. Yeah, that's the camera we're looking at there uh, where you will see a few things that actually change uh, in terms of just uh, software differences there. Uh, there is no fingerprint sensor, uh, but it does have NFC built Built into it, of course. It does have fast charging also. It's, it's uh, Motorola claims to have the fastest fast charging um, uh, regimen of any of the devices. Comes in either 16, 32, or 64 gig gigabyte uh, flavors. Also has micro SD expansion uh, for all those. So you do have that built into the device there. But that is pretty much the Moto X style. So let's round up and see what our thoughts are. Really is a flagship killer. Is it really the, um, the OnePlus 2? or a regular flagship like the Moto X style. So at the end of the day, what really is a flagship killer? Now, 
In all intents and purposes, the OnePlus 2 is a flagship device anyway. It's spec that way, and it's also, uh, it's only difference is it's priced competitively against your traditional flagship. But then again, you look at some of the things that One, OnePlus has actually taken away from the OnePlus 2, and you kind of go, well, you know, a flagship needs to have NFC. And that might be a big turnoff for a lot of people, especially as mobile payments continue to take a rise. We do like the fact that it's got a 1080, um, so we do like the fact that it's got a fingerprint sensor. We don't like the fact that it has a 1080p display, especially with a bigger battery. You can definitely handle it with 2K. LG G4 has shown us that you can do that uh, in there. And then on the other hand, you have the Moto X style, where Motorola has done a great deal in dropping this price point and also giving knows that customized customizability that you expect with Motorola devices, of course with Motomaker, in terms of back cover styling and also making the device that just fits your own personal profile. Um, in terms of specs, we have of course the latest things on there and it is running close to stock Android than anyone else on the market. So that is always a big plus. It doesn't have a fingerprint sensor, but we know it does have NFC. and. You know, in terms of fingerprint sensors, it's something that I would say, yes, it would be great to have, especially when you're tying into mobile payments, but it isn't necessary to have at this point in time. So again, this is something just to take note. So for me, is there really a flagship killer? I don't think so. I think what it is is that you're finding that the market is, of course, contracting because you know what, my smartphones are becoming more mature as a market as a whole, and also your differentiation between specs is also kind of withered away to a certain degree. Your mid-range phones uh, can handle just as well as your high-end phones with better processors in them also. So you're looking at a very small range of execution, and then you just have to decide, do I go with a OnePlus 2, which might be slightly cheaper, or something like a Moto X style, which is almost comparable to the same price, or do I go with a company that has better track record of software performance, like a Motorola, and a company that doesn't have better track record of software performance, like OnePlus, we know they've had some issues in the past. So it's a matter of choice and preference, and what you think fits, and also, again, with these two, it's a matter of availability, which we were able to get. Most likely you will be able to get a Moto X style before you can get a OnePlus 2. And that's probably the difference there than anything else for everyone. So really, in my mind, there is no flagship killer. It's just the market contracting. But I want to hear your thoughts, guys. So let me know. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. And always enjoy your entertainment.